180. Mark, it's amazing what a difference a year makes. 12 months ago, here at the Barnes in the Metrodome, you were playing in the World Championship PDPA qualifier. This year, you, you sat here, you, you've been watching the action out there and uh, you've qualified by a right. must mean a lot to you to be back in the mix. Uh, I'm absolutely over the moon. I don't think um, what I've done over the last couple of months has sunk in quite yet. And um, I've been watching some of the matches today and the standard is so high and I'm, I'm well relieved to be having this interview. Yeah, you've had two semi-finals in Players' Championships recently and, and that's obviously a big achievement in, in anything, but that's got you up there in the Pro Tour rankings, got you an, an automatic place at Ali Pali. Yeah, I mean, I'm in there, I'm, I'm in the mix. Um, actually played really, really well this weekend, best I've played for a long, long time. And with all the pressure that was heaped on me, I, I really held it together. So, you know, at the moment I think, that, you know, any mountains climb aboard, I can, I, I'll be a danger to anyone in the draw. It's been an amazing couple of years for you. I mean, this time last year you were coming back from quite a serious shoulder and elbow operation that you weren't quite sure what, what was going to happen at the time. Yeah, I, I, you know, I've obviously had that surgery. Um, it's, it was creeping up for three, three to four years, really. I, was, I watched some tapes back and I was so snatchy under pressure. And yeah, it's, it's, it's freed me up. Um, it's taken a year, really, to get my mind right and get everything right. And um, yeah, now I'm... Yeah, I'm up for the challenge. I'm, I'm buzzing again, and it's, it's such a difference to where I was. And um, just want to thank everybody who's stuck with me. Really, there's a load of people behind the scenes who have stuck with me, and uh, it, you know, it's easy for them to sort of, you know, because I've been written off. And um, you know, it's just one more step back on the ladder, and uh, hopefully, I keep going up it, up the ladder. That, that's that's my plan. Yeah, I guess the the steps that you've taken recently, I guess in terms of self confidence, must have been a huge boost. Oh, a massive boost. Um, Massive boost. I mean, everything's got tight with money. You know, I've had you know a few problems at home, but you know we're looking, looking forward to a nice Christmas now. Get get the kids some presents. It's, it's cool. And of course, before Christmas, you've got one, possibly two, possibly even three games at, at Ali Pali to play for, to play for. You must be really looking forward to that. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be massive. Just to step back up on that stage and back on the TV screens and um, yeah, something that I'll relish. Uh, it's it's an amazing buzz, and um, I didn't know if I'd ever ever get there again, but. I'm now. I'm happy, and uh, I'm going to move on. It must have been awful for you last year, watching it for for the first time in over a decade that you weren't in the World Championship. Yeah, um, it was difficult. It was difficult, but um, like I've, I've tried to stay positive. I've, you know, I've kept going on the circuit when things were obviously bad. I probably had the worst record of anybody on the circuit. I was getting beat. I was getting beat, but you know, I was determined to keep going right through. You know, I haven't missed any pro tours. I haven't missed. I've just kept going and. Um, Hopefully now, you know, with a little little pat on the back, um, bit bit of sponsorship, a good run in the Ali Pali. If, you know, everything can change for me. It must have been a, a great feeling this weekend, reaching that that semi final that put you into Ali Pali. Um, yeah, the, the semi final. Um, I I needed to win one more game on the Saturday, really, and uh, and uh, ran into Robert Thornton, who, who he he played a lot better than me, to be fair, and. Um, so it made it difficult, and then I had to go into the Sunday, obviously in the mix. But um, you know, I held it together, and, and a few players lost. I mean, sorry for Andy Jenkins. Andy Jenkins texted me on Saturday night and said, "Congratulations, well done. You know, really pleased for you putting yourself in a position." And, and ultimately, he's ended up in the qualifiers today. So I'm, I'm disappointed for Andy because he's uh, he's top bloke. For yourself, you, the big stage is what seems to bring the best out of you, you know, as, as a player and as a person, you just love it up there. Yeah, well, you kind of, uh, this, when you when you get onto the stage and onto the TV, um, it, it's just, it's, it's a relief. You can relax, you've kind of made it, you know, it's, it's, it's the prize, it's like Christmas. And, you know, especially to come through a field at the moment and, you know, we all know how difficult and demanding the tour is in the circuit and... Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, the stage is it's just everything's lit up and it, it makes me smile that you're thinking about it. Do you think back nine years to when you made the final down at the Circus Tavern? Was it nine years ago? Wow. Uh, yeah, I think about that a lot. I mean, a lot of the new generation of supporters wouldn't have probably known that I got to the final there, but I mean, that was a massive achievement. And, um, you know, give Phil a little scare along the, right, along the way, but hey-ho, that was then. This is now. This is hopefully a new Mark Dubridge and a... And a a new start back to and having a good start for it. Do you compare your, your kind of form at the minute? Do you look back to then and, and try and compare yourself to where you are now? Um, not in form terms, just how, I f how I'm feeling. And yesterday, 
just felt great. Uh, under pressure, I felt calm. Um, you know, I had a little bit of luck along the way, let's, let's be fair. I mean, um, Saturday, I think, you know, being Simon Whitlock was a huge game. I, I've had a number of 6-5s, um, but I've been calm. I've been great in those last legs, and um, that's what I used to be like. Just got to take it onto the big stage. Let's take it onto the big stage and see where it takes me. Now, away from darts, obviously, you said that you've had to look at other things to, to, you know, to bring in the money this year. And yourself and Steve Brown, you've opened up Cafe 501 down in Bristol. How's that going? Yeah, we, Steve, um, Steve came up with a, a good concept. Um, we were chatting away there and um, he said, well, you know, with all the pubs closing down, darts teams need a place to go. And um, he said, how about starting up a cafe with a drinks licence? You know, they do it uh, sort of out in Holland, in Germany. And um, yeah, place come up, and within, within it seemed like a couple of months, we were in there painting, and uh, and we started Cafe Five Hundred One. Great place to practice as well. Is it four, four or five dart lanes you've got, and um, obviously the food facilities as well during the day. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's just it's a great place to be. It's good good for darts. Um, one of Steve's academies plays out there as a safe, safe environment for the kids, and um, you know they can have they can have a game of darts, they can have a you know a, a fruit drink and a cookie. I mean, it's just perfect for him. It's helping your game as well. Well, I think just taking my mind off off darts and um, you know doing something proactive with my life, and uh, darts has become a hobby again. So, what do you do? You enjoy your hobbies, and that's what's happening. Well done, mate. Good luck at Ali Pie. Thank you, Dave. One hundred and eighteen.